it's, it's lovely to see you. Nice to we see you We were just too. reminiscing because many years ago when Spiller and you got together and you did Groove Jet, I interviewed you and you did mm. performance on the Thames, or yes. one of the boats on the Thames of, of that song. Can you believe it's, but was that 2000? Yes, 2000, yeah. Um, it's funny, it's, it's actually really convenient that it came out in 2000, because I can always remember how old it is very <laughs> easily, and uh, yeah, it just keeps getting older. <laughs> and so much has changed boat. for you, hasn't it? I mean, your life, is it so different now? So, I mean, to, uh, are you surprised at how, in a way, you've stayed in this industry mm. um, where so many come and go? Um, yeah, I suppose I am quite surprised when I sort of think of it as a big chunk, but it's not really, I'm not very good about thinking in things in those big scales anyway. I think I just focus on the here and now, and maybe that's part of the reason why I'm still doing it, because I still love it so much. And um, I don't think in sort of five year plans, I just think, do I want to make another record? Do I want to keep touring? I just still, I'm still so passionate about it. I think because I was trying to work, sleep, the sleeping bits were usually the good, okay, <laughs> yeah, quickly, yeah, quickly, scan records and vocals. But, but uh, how old, so your boys range from how old now? Because you've got um, four of them. So Sunny is 12. He'll be 13 in April. Uh, Kit is going to be eight next month. Ray is four, and then Jesse's 14. Oh my, months. you've got a teenager on the way. I know. I'm excited about it. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Does he like mum's music? Yes, you know, Sonny's always been very diplomatic, and I like <laughs> hanging out with him. I, I find it nice having an older kid because we can sort of things can progress into the next stage. And like last yeah. night, we were up till quite late talking and stuff. I think it's nice. And do, do your husband's a musician, which from the feeling. Does do you work together on writing or anything? Is that literally? Is it you on your own? away from everybody when you're doing um, it? So Richard and I met because he was in my band, so we worked together. He's actually back in my band, so he's been touring with me since Wanderlust, which was my last record. Um, but when it comes to songwriting, I've actually been working with um, one of Richard's best friends, a guy called Ed Harcourt, who's a very talented singer-songwriter in his own right, and we've done two albums together yeah. now. So it's kind of all connected, but but once removed, well, I think that's quite good for my head. Yeah. Well, look, it's lovely to see you, Sophie. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about Familiar, which is the new album and the first song that we've been listening to this morning at four o'clock in the morning. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Uh, that was really great. It must it's have been really something. Crazy. And you look no different <laughs> to 16 years ago. That's, that's why very I can't generous. Get over. Cannot get over it. All right. So nice to see you. Thanks very much.